কারণ অদ্ভুত ভাবে আজকের দিনটা বাদ দিয়ে আমি অন্তত তিনটে দেখতে পাচ্ছি আমি আরো চাইছি একটা দিন এভাবে অফ মানে অনলাইনে পড়াশোনা হচ্ছে তোমরাই বা কি কি তোমাদের পড়ানো হচ্ছে তোমরাই বা কি শিখছে আমাকে সন্দেহ হচ্ছে সন্দেহ হচ্ছে সবাই কতগুলো পাওয়ার পয়েন্ট দেখিয়ে দেখি কি সব বলে যায় মাথায় ঢোকে কিনা বোর্ড ওয়ার্ক করা যাচ্ছে না কিছু আমারও আজকে ব্রডব্যান্ড নেই আমার আজকে একটা মেক্সি ম্যানেজমেন্ট কারণ আমি আমার নিজের ঘর থেকে বলতে পারছি না আজকে অন্য জায়গার থেকে বলতে হচ্ছে আমাদের কত আছে এই ক্লাসে বাকিটা কি করে বলো তো পরীক্ষা দেবে না এমন কিছু আছে আমার ধারণা না স্যার যারা দেবে না তারা মোটামুটি মানে অন্য এমএসসি তে বা অন্য কোথাও শিফট করে গেছে তার মানে এরা দেবে হুম ঠিক আছে আমি তাহলে শেয়ার করি ওকে স্যার So this was the last discussion. <coughs> Can you see this? Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh,
how many amongst you can drive how many how many no driving driving of car sir i i know how to bolo koyek jon bolo i mane ki ami to dekhte pacchi na ami to ekhon onirban 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 drive korte paro so anirban when you drive so oh, yeah fine one is fine so when you drive uh, so one is run mode one is stop mode okay sir. so do you agree this type of uh, sharp curve that at sudden suddenly you can start suddenly you can stop uh, no sir no that means you have to press brake and then you can you need some time yes, to uh, and it decelerates you know? slowly sir. right decelerate or accelerate both so it is the natural system yes sir but mathematically what we call it is start and stop yes sir. similarly any any physical system it needs some It needs some time to set, settle down. And that's why the region is very important. Also in case of uh, driving a car, driving a cycle it is very important when you are driving very slow or when you are stopping your car in a in a sudden moment and that control is very important the similar case is near cutoff the propagation is not very very uh, useful thing that time but very serious thing for all of us why because it is during that region we face attenuation so you can note down this statement that attenuation indicates loss or losses inside a guy attenuation maniki the power loss so loss of power that is one very interesting uh, feature any kind of loss tama loss bolli to hoto ta ba attenuation ken so profit so you are doing a business and you are making profit uh, my profit is 1000 rupees per day or my profit is 10000 rupees per day is it sufficient to indicate the nature of the business no sir parar mudir dokan 10000 rupees mon uri baba ha that is his profit per day and somebody tells you that uh, the tata motor their profit is 10000 per day so do you have similar similar uh, feeling similar impression no sir no sir no that means relative the same thing we need to calculate or we need to understand what kind of loss and the loss definitely with respect to some other parameter okay we need to do some mathematics and that mathematics is based on the physical aspects that are related to the propagation of wave propagation of electromagnetic field and especially the propagation of electromagnetic field in a given boundary so we are frequently uh using the term attenuation constant attenuation factor alpha something like that and how do we define it 
suppose the propagating wave with power p0 it is propagating towards z the power flow along z and pz is the power after traveling a distance finite distance z definitely either it will remain p0 or it will be less than p0 so definitely it will be less than p0 so p0 multiplied by a factor e to the power minus 2 alpha z can anyone tell me that why i put 2 normally you know it is e to the power alpha z or minus alpha z so why we put here 2 On it burn. Sir. Oindrila. Yes, sir. Sir. Or anyone else? I'm going to call it Dekte Bachi. I'm a screen to Sudumatra. I'm a slight day Dekte Bachi. Can anyone help me? And explain why why do I put two? Hello. Yes, sir. Can you do it, Bashan? Hello. Ek jono bolte bache na, tai to okay. So, imaginary so part to eliminate Sir, imaginary part eliminate real part to Imaginary uh, part to Sir, man, jodi imaginary part, amra to man, real calculate kora shomai, sab shomai ekar konjugate. হুম বলো আমি শুনছি বলো হ্যাঁ স্যার বলছি যে মানে কোন সিগন্যালকে আমি যদি মানে রিয়েল পার্টটাকে কনসিডার করি তাহলে ওটার কনজুগেটের সঙ্গে তো মানে প্লাস করি তার জন্য রিয়েল এর মানে মানে রিয়েল পার্টটাকে একটা 2 চলে আসে কারণ কনজুগেটের ইমেজিনারি পার্টটা কেটে যায় বলে এরকম কি V equal to V naught e to the power minus of alpha z. That is the standard expression. E equal to e to the power in terms of field, in terms of voltage, e to the power e to the power minus alpha z. V are, what is the relation between V and E? So, e equals to minus dVd z. So, one is the derivative of other, right? Volt per meter. Yes, sir. So, this is V per meter. That is derivative. Space derivative, special derivative. Okay. So, they are almost synonymous per meter per meter but what is the relation with uh, p power power and field key relation if if i express this in terms of power power relation to key away power is e square am i right yes sir Power is equal to field into field. So in magnitude it is E square. Square of field. So Jokon three square Boshabe, Tokon square Boshaba, Ekanajan square Boshabe, then it, it will become two of alpha. Two. Done. 
डन यस सर तो ज़्यादा बीएससी पास करे ये पास करे इस तारा को भाई बोलते बोलों को बोलते बालों ना करना क्यों जाते एक बार तुम ही डिराइव करो देखो कि दांड है मेक दिस टेक दिस डेरिवेटिव द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड व्हाट डज इट मीन चेंज अ पावर विथ जेड एंड इट इज विथ नेगेटिव सेंस दैट इज रेट ऑफ चेंज मींस रेट ऑफ डिक्रीज ऑफ पावर and rate of decrease of power means power loss per unit length that means your right hand side is actually power power loss per unit length and that we can write in terms of pl so the power loss per unit length if we write equal to 2 alpha pz so from here you can define alpha and in text you can write it power loss per unit length by power transmitted pz is actually power transmitted multiplied by 2 and that is our attenuation constant therefore you can note down that we can determine alpha if we know these two parameters or two quantities one is loss per unit length that we need to know but accordingly or along with this we need to know the what total amount of power is being transmitted I'm a lost a koto 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 I'm bolan jama profit the koto capital against the hoche that's important Tata motor profit at the nama mudi dogan air profit at the so total capital that is total transmitted power and in terms of that what amount of power is being lost per unit length that is the measure of attenuation are you fine after that i need to proceed for the uh, quickly yes sir. okay so our intention is to understand for the guide and since our focus is the fundamental mode in rectangular waveguide so now we are trying to understand what's our uh, attenuation constant in a waveguide for t10 mode and then we should write t10 mode pl by 2 p10 10 stands for t10 mode power flow why do I write this? Because this will this will help me uh, in deriving it, in expressing it in some understandable uh, or simplified form of equation. That's why I, I simplify your problem, not the general problem, not in terms of n and m. It is simply as t10 that is only for the dominant mode so do you agree with me that this is p10 yes or no amrajani e cross h that is the total power flow what yes, is sir. s yes sir action ekto amar shonge kotha bolo na what is s Surface interval, car surface. It is not the surface. It is actually the sur it is actually cross section. Yes. This total cross section key. Yes. Jar across the power ta jachche. Rectangular waveguide ke tere ta a into b. Yes. So I need to know the power, power propagating over this cross section, a into b cross section. So you can easily write it. The 
that RMS value, etc., etc., all calculations you, you know from your fundamental mathematics or physics. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. So now you look at this diagram. Uh, e. E money E Y. Taina? We have no EX, no, no EZ. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Ah, sorry, E Y R H R component as in 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 calculating the power flow. E Y and H. HX only HX, HX. right? HX. HX okay. That's why I have written it. Yes, that's why I have written it. EY and HX, DX and DY, integration over X zero to A, over Y zero to B. That's why I have meaningful expression. I have written it. Right. Yes, that sir. means that means denominator. First, I determine denominator, then I will determine loss. Okay. Now, our life will be easier because we know this relation e y by h x. This is called impedance, and this impedance is called. I will I will discuss it in a more elaborate way. This is wave impedance. For T10 mode or T10 wave, the wave impedance we can write Ey by Hx. So now our uh, calculation will be straightforward. You all know that you already derived Ey. Do you remember your from your from your previous classes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Ey and Hx. So now I am in a position to calculate P10. I am just showing you the inherent scenario so that when you are given some expression, you are given some amount, some quantity, so that you can understand that how the engineers, how the scientists do this calculation. What is the what is the insight behind this? So it is just for your understanding or insight about this uh, basic engineering ebar tumra hoyto agree korbe je ey hx bhag kore dekho etai berobe very important relation yes sir that this wave impedance omega mu by beta for T10 mode, okay. Just remember it is for T10 mode. If it is so, not all right. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, you put this value, so I don't need HY anymore. Two different quantities I don't need. So one quantity is sufficient for me. So you know this expression, HX. So put this value over here. And you can give some time based on your understanding, based on your basic understanding, basic mathematics. It will be easy to determine this final value of P10. It is not, nothing difficult for you. So P10 term, P10 
expression the expression ki ki aache er a and b is there it is the unknown amplitude factor our important two factors are there beta and k c k c is a cutoff parameter beta is the propagation constant and wave impedance so all are realistic values now we read the red lines power loss for unit length due to finite conductivity of the guide wall আমি কিছু প্রশ্ন জিজ্ঞেস করবো আমার প্রশ্নগুলোর উত্তর দিতে হবে আমি কি ধরে ধরে জিজ্ঞেস করতে পারবো না তোমরা কি কেউ তোমার মানে কেউ আর ইউ আর ইউ রেডি টু ভলেন্টিয়ার যে যে পারবে জাস্ট ওপেন ইউর মাউথ সো দ্যাট আই ক্যান আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড ইট ডু অ্যাপ্রিশিয়েট ডু অ্যাপ্রিশিয়েট দ্য স্টেটমেন্ট আমি হলে তো তোমার বয়সে আমি হলে আমি তো করতাম না আমি তো আমি তো এই স্টেটমেন্ট অ্যাপ্রিশিয়েটই করতে পারতাম because my main problem is sir you have written the power loss per unit length due to the finite conductivity of the guide wall well find finite conductivity means the resistivity right conductivity mane tai to yes sir conductivity jeno to loss hoy na loss hoy resistivity or resistance that means conducting material it has the property of resistance and due to this resistance there is some loss this is called uh, joules heating loss i square r so why is i we are just dealing with two fields e and h eta to kono electrical current jacche na amar ei guide er moddhe thi loss hobe koto thi so that would be my point of disagreement with this step so do you agree with me do you agree with the statement yes. do you agree my my modified statement that i i don't appreciate it yes sir yes sir yeah so it is difficult to appreciate at this stage so let's see i'm the expression to likhe dilam লিখে দিলাম এই জন্য যে হোয়াট ডু ইউ মিন বাই দিস পাওয়ার লস পার ইউনিট লেন্থ ইট ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি এখন তুমি এই সি কন্টিউটটাও বুঝতে পারছো না কিছু বুঝতে পারছো না বাট ইট ইজ ইট ইজ ওয়ান এক্সপ্রেশন ঠিক আছে জাস্ট ইউ ট্রাই টু ফলো মি ওয়েল উই আর গোয়িং ব্যাক টু আওয়ার স্কুল ডেজ কোন কোন ক্লাসে প্রথম পড়ানো হয়েছিল এমপিএস ল Ampere's law states on phenomenon. What's the phenomenon? Sir, the line integral of the magnetic field that that will be equal to the current enclosed. That means Have you heard this uh, famous line from Kalidash? Parvato vannivan dhuma জানো শুনেছ কোনদিন না স্যার পর্বত বর্ণিমান ধুমা এটা বিখ্যাত লাইন কালিদাসের নো স্যার সামনে পাহাড় আছে বলে মনে হচ্ছে মেঘে ঢাকা যক্ষ যাচ্ছে যে সামনে একটা পাহাড় থাকলেও থাকতে পারে সে বুঝতে পারছে না তখন হঠাৎ দেখলো প্রচুর ধোঁয়া বের হচ্ছে কোন একটা জায়গা থেকে পাহাড়ে আগুন লেগেছে 
So one is the cause, another is its manifestation. Sir, so here JS is the manifestation. Forest is agun legeche, so it is the cause. And bohu dhur theke dakha jachche dhuma utche, so so that is the manifestation. So from this manifestation, one can conclude the source is like this. So when there is magnetic field, definitely any physicist having the basic understanding or basic basic knowledge of class 12 he or she can tell that definitely there is some conduction current do you agree with me yes and vice versa ebar jodi tumi ekta magnetic field niye ekta conductor er gaye niye ghosha iye koro vibrate karo ba time varying mode e tumi tar gaye rakho then you will feel not even in, in this form it is also possible if there is some uh, conduct, uh, magnetic field surrounding one metallic body what will happen it will induce conduction current so faraday to sorry faraday bolchi ye to seta pai ni ampere seta pai ni ampere pe chilen current Ampere first found that if there is current, then surrounding this wire, there is one contour of magnetic field. Now it is equally true when there is some magnetic field and that magnetic field touches conduction, conducting body, then this conducting on this conducting body, a conduction current will be induced. What type of current it is? Hey, there. Hey, the waveguide wall ta hai. Then in the waveguide wall, amar kintu Z dekh dekh khub nojon nahi dekh chhu, because it is per unit length. Z is Z is one. So this integration is across this contour. Which contour? Hey, this contour. Per unit length is the contour ta hai. That means current that conduction current is confined within this contour you can act a conduction current to the hall then definitely there will be some losses so we are going to estimate that amount of loss occurring on the guide wall or the inside of the guide wall per unit length so this is the surface resistance the surface resistance is a function of omega mu is the permeability and inverse of conductivity sir bolchi ekhan ta eta contour mane line integral na likhe contour likhchi keno abhi to line integral likhechi to na mane ekhan ta contour ar line integral er modhe ki kono difference ache जस्टिफाई मैगनेटिक फिल्ड only look at this magnetic field magnetic field has the components along this direction and this direction ki ki ache o ekta ache x along x along along z along x and z okay so now you try at x equal to 0 x equal to 0 means when x equal to 0 it touches the bottom surface 
at x equal to 0, we are on the bottom surface. See can motion. What is your Jx or surface then Js? Js is equal to x cross H, Hz. Here it is Hz. At x equal to 0. At x equal to 0. I mean, act to bull bull it. At x equal to 0 means we are at this wall. We are at this wall. At y equal to 0, we are at this wall. Do you follow me? Hello? Yes, sir. At x equal to 0 means we are here. So one is x vector, another is z vector. Only z vector. Tale current upon the Kaja, what the key? X cross AZ, it indicates a current. The current is propagating in which direction? Y direction. Y direction, right. At Y equal to zero, what do we write? At Y equal to zero means we are on this surface. Y cross H. Y cross H means I am going to H and X O liquid lamna, Y O liquid lamna, Z O liquid lamna. So I need to clarify it. Y cross H X plus H Z at Y equal to zero. That means on this ground. Because here we are getting two components. One is the Z component. One is X component. So, Hx and Hz both. So, if this is the way we in the, uh, determine our surface currents or conduction currents, then we can directly write our contour 0 to A and 0 to B, that is 0 to A and 0 to B multiplied by 2. Why? Because the loss over here, it is double because here the similar loss will occur, will be occurring here. Now what loss we are determining across the surface, the similar loss is occurring here. So the total loss is actually what we are calculating over here and over here that will be doubled. That's why I multiplied this by 2. And we are taking only integration over 0 to A and 0 to B. And thus by multiplying these two, we are accounting for the entire surface. Obviously, for unit length. So now you just put these values. Just you now put these values. You integrate them. Tomraki lichona lichona. Lichi, sir. Kevin Pathawar or not? Did they are writing or not? Lichi, sir. Okay. So have you completed writing this part? No, sir. Please write part. Done? One minute. No, sir, please wait for one minute. Okay. So this current is okay, actually the contribution okay. of magnetic yeah. field. Magnetic field touching the surface of conducting wall. battery current We are in the RF domain. High frequency domain. At the high frequency level, at, the, at, the, at, at that uh, domain, the magnetic field and electric field in free space, they are fine. But if any kind of metal comes in touch with, in, in contact with magnetic field, that is going to create current, magnetic current, uh, electric current or conduction current. Well, 
So I'm going to next slide. Okay, sir. So PL, what if you write these values all in terms of age, then you can find this PL is actually giving this three quantities B plus A by two plus A by two multiplied by this quantity. The details derivations are not followed. They could have a so you can do it or you just uh, note this that that is the final year my, my intention is not to derive it and check its validity my intention is to show you how do we calculate this how can you calculate this okay so based on this uh, two derivations two equations we can now derive alpha and this is the expression of alpha this is the expression of alpha. And after doing some simplification, this gives you this value. Eta zero is the intrinsic impedance of the medium. That is 377 ohm for, for air. Beta zero, beta one zero, K, or KC one zero, you know these values, and the more important is this uh, guide dimension. That means guide dimension determines uh, the attenuation part to some extent. Definitely RS, that is what kind of metal we use. So, one thing you can note that the metal we use that has to be good conductor. So what kind of metal you use, do you know? It is copper. It is copper. And suppose in some specific applications at very high frequency, we cannot afford even a small amount of loss. And in that case, we want to achieve RS value very low, very low. That is conductivity very high. And we need to then choose a different kind of conductor like gold. Gold is having uh, very high conductivity, very low resistivity. So for very uh, sophisticated application within the guide, the guide wall, some uh, old coating is, is, is to be done. That's, more, that's why these components at high frequency become so expensive. So only to avoid any kind of loss or attenuation. What is the unit of attenuation? Nippers per meter. And probably you can convert nippers to dB. Nippers to dB, you can do it in logarithmic scale. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay. There was just any class here, Chief. Can you teach me more? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, no problem. Take it, tell okay. Hmm. So in dB per meter, just convert it, it is not a big deal. And just one one example, to be the engineer, how do you measure attenuation? So it is just one setup. This instrument is in our laboratory. It is called Network Analyzer. You can note down the name, Network Analyzer. 
and it is a two port device port one and port two and uh, using these you can measure all scattering metrics do you know scattering metrics are you familiar with scattering no, metrics sir. no sir baware ke kichu bolo no sir no sir मीडिया it is going to 2 and it is passing through 2 or reflecting from this one or reflecting from this one so these all are measured by some parameters it is called scattering matrix that is the power transmitted and power deflected back so s11 is the power deflected from port 1 S21 means power passing to 2 from 1. S12 means power traveling from S uh, traveling from 2 to 1. And S22 means you are feeding some power at point for 2 and power is reflected back. So that. reflection coefficient is measured by s22 so s11 is the port 1 characteristics for two characteristics and 21 and 12 is the transmission characteristics so all these parameters we can measure so when we measure 21 or 12 by this way this is the this is the device under test we can measure what amount of power is being attenuated one so they can so it can be measured it can be characterized it can be verified or checked okay so the curve looks like this attenuation attenuation curve t10 it is the lowest attenuation then it again increases so actually actually our operating band is chosen from here to here typically our our operating band here and when until the next higher mode comes so this is the area where attenuation is very low so we choose this part only okay suppose your cut off frequency is here it's cut cut off frequency is here so we avoid this part because kano bolo to attenuation is too high so just after cut off attenuation becomes so high that it is not recommended for application so we choose some frequency after cut off when attenuation constant is low considerably low and we can go up to until the next cut off starts so t10 and t20 between these two we can use this type of uh, frequency choice for our application and this characteristics is for this type of guide it is not the standard wr guide standard wr guide you can see here wr90 i already told about wr90 which is very mm -hmm. common in our laboratory very common in an application and you just note it wr90 the recommended frequency in the last class you already you are you are known uh you are familiar with this 
you know this you knew this uh, yesterday uh, last class the 8.2 to 12.4 gigahertz is the operating band of w190 but the cutoff frequency tumra calculate korechilo koto 6.557 gigahertz so the cutoff frequency is 6.5 but we are using the same guide from 8.2 that means that means 6.5 to 8.2 that is the area where attenuation is too high therefore therefore it is recommended to use w190 from 8.2 to 12.4 and the next cutoff frequency cutoff frequency for the next mode it starts from 13.11 therefore we stop at 12.40 again the attenuation starts for the or the us higher order mode to avoid the harder higher order mode we we keep some guard band 12.4 to 13.1 and you know the dimension told you 0.9 inch is a and 0.4 inch is b and it's uh, millimeter 22.86 that you calculated and 10.16 it is in millimeter the dimension and for this guide i just ask you to note the attenuation it is for this guy t10 mode with b equal to a by 2 uh, one point have you note have you noted that b by a ratio is one important factor of attenuation Definitely, you have noted B by A ratio yes, here. Sir. So, uh, if you critically analyze, then you will can see that B by A ratio low is good, high is good, or moderate is good. So, based on this understanding, uh, B by A ratio is chosen typically B equal to A by 2 or 0.445 of A. And the cutoff frequency, uh, sorry, the uh, Attenuation, attenuation characteristics is like this. It's very high, then gradually it goes down, and, and after some time it again increases. So, the attenuation, attenuation calculation, and based on that uh, choice of exact band, operating frequency it is very important from engineering point of view now i'm give, going to tell you a very interesting concept of impedance some other impedance from on the concept key some impedance by resistance from on the other idea mystery i say you know what is what is impedance what are different types of impedances have you any idea? Just now we talked about the wave impedance. That's why I'm asking that some concept of impedance you should have. The circuit impedance. Circuit impedance, electrical impedance, but but no, the, the standard technical terms are different. So I'm going to introduce you with, with these terms in electrical engineering. all three types of impedances will be familiar to you in your in your engineering course one is intrinsic impedance of medium you know this value it is called intrinsic impedance of the medium medium and major sector impedance are you familiar with this Are you familiar with this term, intrinsic impedance of medium? Yes, sir. Well, we'll discuss it again later. Second is it is called wave impedance. That is transverse electric field and transverse magnetic field. They are relation. Just now 
we, we expressed is this wave impedance. It is in, in, a, in a guide, it is either T or TM or TEM. What kind of wave within a guide? It is called wave impedance. And if this guide is transformed to free space, then it is transformed to intrinsic impedance. Okay. The third one that you already knew about it, this is the expression. This impedance is called the line impedance or characteristic impedance. Right? You know about characteristic impedance? Or yes, sir. network impedance, just electrical impedance, right? The traveling wave in a transmission line. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, in terms of voltage and current, we express the impedance, so it is the line impedance of characteristic impedance. Fine. So you should remember these three types of impedances. Now we come to wave impedance for T wave. That means, again, again we are coming back to waveguide. Amar ekhane kintu VI main. Voltage or current or so characteristic impedance at a noise. It is nor free space impedance or, or intrinsic impedance of the medium, tau noise. key. So when you are dealing with electromagnetic wave passing through any hollow waveguide, then the impedance is uh, wave impedance and for different modes that their, their features are different. So for T, transverse electric mode, it is EY by HX and T10. The mode, uh, the, the impedance is like this. We we'll just play with this equation. Already you, 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 you know about this, omega mu by B. I'm looking for a bar Yes. Sir. Yeah, you do remember from UY and HX. Well, and uh, beta, you can you can write. From this relation, we can write this. A square root of hetero jangshota shiramani yonkhona baba repeat ko chena. So it is it is it is a standard. Uh, Convention to repeat the same thing. That is within this bracket, we are writing this one. And it is the beta correlation. I am uh, writing it in, in this fashion. Why? To write it in this way. Do you remember it, this value? A value of the Omega mu epsilon. You know this value. Key. And you know Key. this value. Key. Yes. So that's why I'm writing in this way. So this is K. This is intrinsic impedance. And that means the wave impedance of the Kiki Dugagaludako. Wave vector. Intrinsic impedance and again k and square root of this. That means they will vanish. So finally, it is intrinsic impedance with respect to this. So the wave impedance is actually characterized by the cutoff parameters, otherwise, it is the intrinsic impedance. So when we are far away from FC, cutoff parameter, cutoff frequency, if you are far away, the denominator will be 1. And it will be intrinsic impedance. So wave-guided vector the impedance will be intrinsic impedance. It is like that bird. So I am free. So my impedance and free space impedance is all the same. 
That means my wavelength becomes too, too small compared to the wavelength boundary. Are you fine after this? Then I'm going to next slide. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, can you note this value? It is a very simple thing that the wave impedance is, is the free space impedance divided by square root of epsilon r. The relation is very same or very similar that you already derived in our plus plus. It is always true. Beta and beta naught, k, k naught, the same relation. Wave impedance for TM wave. Again, you we already have calculated TM uh, electric field and magnetic field transverse components, and you just take the ratio. It is just the reverse of the opposite uh, organization, opposite uh, the reverse organization of uh, Z for T. So this is a similar equation you can use that already you have derived. And now Based on these two expressions, can we can we draw the curve like this? Wave impedance, if we plot zero to infinity, and at cutoff or near cutoff, for one mode it is going to positive infinity, here it is going to negative. Or zero. And what is the value? We already have told that very high frequency, our wave impedance is actually free space impedance or intrinsic impedance. So it varies from zero to this or this to infinity. For T mode or for both modes, at very high frequency, they converge. But near cutoff, in one mode it is infinity, and in one another mode it is zero. You just go through this expression and you'll find these characteristics. And all I'm telling you, all I'm showing you, based on my experience of uh, consulting, watching your gate examination question papers. And this is, this is also a very, very common, common type of questions coming in any, either gate or engineering services or any competitive services. Okay. Next is equivalent characteristic impedance. What is that? It is not really characteristic impedance. It is not wave impedance, but it's equivalent. You just look at here. Airfield waveguide is T10 mode. And for this mode, this impedance is a naught. You already know this expression. You know this expression like this, is air field. And Z naught equal to K naught, eta naught, beta. You get it from here. You have this expression, beta square is equal to k square minus kc square. Do you remember this? It is already taught. Yes, sir. Okay. What is kc square? You remember these values? 
que tu appelles un utérus. Pour le moins, il n'y a pas de spy by a square. That means for one zero mode, we can write beta equal to like this. And for one zero mode, this is our A and B for W and 90, W or 90. I'm going to tell you this exact value. So what is the value of beta? Z not from the previous expression, you just put these values. We are getting some numerical figure which is equal to 500 ohm. What's that? Again, go ball a key, Z not a key. What is Z not? Equivalent characteristic impedance. So, what is the matter? What is the matter? It is wave impedance for TE10 mode. That is actually equivalent characteristic impedance. I am not going to say that. But I am not going to say that. I am not going to say that. So, Amra transmission in, 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 in relatively in traditional uh, transmission line, what we call characteristic impedance, the similar way it is equivalent characteristic impedance like this. So can you can you now calculate this the problem given below? You note it. This X band guide is primarily filled by air. I mean, the Q, the H connector. So, I'm giving this problem, you will do it. Have you noted this one? No, sir. Okay. It was a guided impedance, web guided impedance for this mode. Should I proceed to next slide? Yes. Uh, I'm giving you two more problems. This is one. Hard January will have will have to appear in one exam. So the examination I'm going to publish of the other one. I repeat for all of you that a guide cutoff frequency, guide wavelength that is lambda g, guide impedance that is uh, wave impedance or equivalent characteristic impedance. The very important parameters that you can determine.
mathematically and based on phenomenal expressions or formulations. If the guide is filled, partially filled, or it is hollow. So in all cases, you can determine it. So it's very common problem that is often given to you in any, any kind of examination. You can see now that when a wave is propagating, its phase and group velocity and how do they behave. Many of you, I'm very sure you have an idea about phase velocity and group velocity, but if you don't have, then you can go through and you will definitely will understand the meaning of phase and group. And how do you define, how do you use it? This velocity, it is called phase velocity. And omega beta. Omega beta determines the phase of the wave. Or it is not the phase, it is the how the phase change at what rate. So it is the phase velocity. Omega by beta, we can write it in a an interesting way to convert this numerator to k because I want here k. Here I write it beta and here it is the value of Ce that is the velocity of light in that medium. Okay. So it, it is actually the velocity of light in that medium divided by beta by k. How do you define beta by k? Do you remember beta by k relation? That, mean, yes. that means I am trying to bring the cutoff parameter and its impact on this expression. So the impedance of cutoff parameter, near cutoff parameter, the impedance is going to be infinity. Near cutoff parameter, impedance is going to be zero, depending on the mode. The phase velocity means actually the velocity of light. But with, with, with this additional uh, restriction of square root of 1 minus fc square by f square. That means we don't have to uh, feature near cutoff it will face. Well, so this is this is the expression of his velocity. We will we'll learn few more things very soon. Now I'm I'm coming to the next line. So do, do you do you appreciate this expression? The phase velocity and group velocity that the multiplied form gives you the square of <coughs> velocity of light. You know this probably. The group velocity and phase velocity. If you multiply this, then their product gives you square of the velocity of light. Yes or no? Maybe no, right? No, sir. No, you don't know it. Okay. So what is the velocity? Velocity, phase velocity is the change of phase with time that gives you phase velocity. That is the distance covered. Well, can you do? Well, what, what, what's the, what's the uh, unit of this one? Hey, it's a unit key, Nijeta. Unitless. Unitless. Tale air unit te, air unit. Take the phase velocity. Ah, tale air unit ki. Velocity unit. Ha, the key unit ki. Meter per second. Meter per second. That means distance traversed per second. 
velocity so never think that the velocity cannot be less than velocity of light definitely it can be but it is group velocity but phase velocity cannot be lower than velocity of light 
it is always greater than one and here it is always greater than uh, less than one so group velocity is always less than one or maximum it can be one with respect to c that is the normalized value and phase velocity is always either c or more than c I just introduce Q and the next next day, next day, Kobe, I'm going to say, what is the reason? Yes, sir. So, I'm giving some indication. What is Q? Do you know? Have you heard the term Q? Q Q stands for quality. Yes, sir. Or Q factor or quality factor. What quality? Is your quality? The car quality of the waveguide. To the waveguide quality. The circuit. Sir, J wave tapachi or the cotota flat waiter quality, sir. Manakota sharp or cotota flat waiter. Kiki, how was it? Hello, Q factor the sharpness barriers, no? Is your sharpness? Sir, cast a cotton of flat hoyache or cotton of money sharp as you would take out. Show me a girl for a good bear, then I shall go for the What is that? It is the Q. Q determines uh, Q determines the it, it quantifies Q quantifies the amount of electromagnetic energy stored and amount of electrom electromagnetic energy lost its ratio. Well, this circuit in the or circuit components, either circuit or circuit components, which can retain electromagnetic energy, the Q factor term So it is a measure of retention of energy with respect to the loss of energy. It is found that it is the function of frequency. So some, at some particular frequency, it will be very high. And the other frequencies, it is going down. Sharpness. Sharpness is the function of frequency. That is, that is the manifestation, that is its uh, uh, interpretation, but actually it is the energy stored and energy loss, which is the ratio. Okay. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. The letter with the very card inductance at the inductor with the body capacitor, RQ with the body or a circuit 
comprising both A and C, that means tank circuit, resonant circuit, and in case of waveguide, it is also possible because there is the measure of uh, energy loss and energy stored. Because it is, a, it is a transmission, it is a piece of transmission line. So any, any piece of transmission line is represented as a combination of L and C. That's why it is also valid in case of transmission line. So this is the mathematical expression of Q. It is actually unitless. This is second, here is the first second, so all uh, vanish and it is finally it is a unitless quantity. So over an unit length energy transmitted per second, you agree with this expression that it is the energy transmitted per second. Yes, sir. Yeah, group velocity the multiply equally variable. So group velocity multiply energy stored per unit length. That is equal to energy transmitted per second. Okay. So can you replace this right hand side by this? The power transmitted, energy transmitted per second means power transmitted. So we can write power transmitted. So from here we can get that it is it is actually power transmitted. So omega, this VG comes over here. It is the power transmitted, energy stored per unit length per second. This part is okay. So now on the right hand side, you just take this one and you compare with your previous note. Do you, do you appreciate this replacement or transmitted energy loss per unit length per second? Are you okay with this expression that it is giving you one upon two alpha? Yes or no? We already we already use this relation today. Yes, sir. Are you okay? Therefore, the Q we can measure from this right hand side expression. This is the expression for Q. For any frequency, this is fixed. You know the group velocity. So it depends on the cutoff relation with the frequency. So that is also, uh, that is also the part of the characteristics of the frequency and the guide. But the important parameter is alpha. And we need to understand a few more things. The group velocity, I just write the group velocity, c square into phase velocity, phase velocity. Because this is the relation of phase velocity. So phase velocity, I just replaced by this. So finally, it is. So, don't, don't, don't read this part. You just look at here. The top is beta. The 
bottom is beta by k whole square. So everything is now under the control of the propagation part, beta k card, propagation, etc., etc. We know it is the characteristics of the website. But more important is the alpha, which is in the denominator. So now you should read and you should note this is very important parameter statement that the web guide is giving you so low loss that means attenuation alpha is so low suppose it is close to zero then the q of a guide mathematically it has to be very, very high. And when this Q theoretically or mathematically offers you a very high value, then it is a, it is a, a, a big treasure to electronic engineer. Why? Because high Q means high selectivity. High Q means low loss. High Q means very steady oscillation because your frequency selective circuit determines the oscillation frequency and its steady oscillation value. So it is a good resonator, good oscillator, good cavity, good selective circuit. So that is the feature we are getting out of this the low epsilon means very high Q. So it is the mathematical prediction and it is the reality in case of waveguide and that's why the waveguide offers you the opportunity of utilizing a piece of waveguide to build very high Q circuit and that high Q circuit is the cavity. You don't have uh, lumped L or lumped C to build your LC circuit, your resonator in microwave domain or high frequency domain. So that high frequency domain waveguide is your transmission line. So as maximum as possible, we need to use waveguide to realize different circuit components. When you have L and C separate uh, in the form of bulk circuit element, uh, we are very happy we'll combine L and C and make it parallel or make it in series. Then we can have our series resonance, parallel resonance, and we can use it for uh, oscillator purpose, for feedback purpose. Oh. Low frequency oscillators, transistor DQ oscillator, amplifier oscillator, etc. etc. No, sir. No. You need to know the principle of oscillator. Oscillator is kind oscillator is kind of amplifier. The amplifier is a oscillator. Oscillator means that oscillation, that high frequency or low frequency signal automatically generated. How? Kilogram signal, sinusoidal signal. So it is actually an amplifier. The amplifier will have its own feedback system. In the jala shuru korbe, or niye ekta settle down korbe at a particular frequency of oscillation. So we'll get one sinusoidal oscillator, something like that. And if it is high frequency, it is RF, then it's fine, no problem. At any frequency, you can have that. So when you are uh, thinking of microwave frequency, suppose 10 gigahertz, suppose 20 gigahertz. So we need to have some circuit elements so that you can uh, generate signal so how do you do it? How do you select the signal? How do you choose the frequency? 
choice of frequency is done by the equivalent LMC. And in case of high frequency or particular microwave signal, our, our cavity or resonator or cavity resonator, they're synonymous. They determine that which frequency is to be selected or which frequency is going to be oscillated. So that is the theoretical part. So next class I'll start with uh, this type of this type of circuit elements that uh, how you can use it as for cavity. Then why not? Question is then why not waveguide as a good cavity resonator? Because uh, theoretically, it suggests that the so question is not why not. In reality, it, 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 it is true that this waveguides, either it is circular cross section or rectangular cross section, that is that that is in use. Uh, I just conclude by saying that some of you. have shared your assignments and many of you did not. So I'm giving you time up to 26th. Today is 24th, 25th is I, I, I think it is a holiday. So by 26th evening you should share all your completed homework or assignment where we are going to analyze the circular waveguide and find out its solution. Right? Yes. Then that's all for today. So now we have in class 24, including myself, so it is 23 actually. Do you have any quick query? No. If not, then I conclude today and uh, we'll be meeting on 28th at 6.30 p.m. Okay. 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 I may not share the link uh, the day before. I, I, I will share okay. it with it before, before uh, 15 minutes or 30 minutes before you start. Okay. okay. And Shanoi, please give me a call around five o'clock evening five o'clock okay. because six hours is our class because i'll be traveling on that day i land by the by the by noon okay 28th noon so fine six hours is fine for me Let's proceed. Uh, probably, I mean, for a dinner, could be shown in Nebona or our actor part way away. So, after that, we'll have a fifth, fifth and tenth. Yes. Okay. So, that's all for today. Enjoy your Christmas. Okay, sir. Okay. Hello, hello, Kate Cable. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir. okay.